How's it going, gamers? And welcome back to yet another episode of Skyrim. In the last episode, Jin Mule climbed the 7,000 steps, reaching High Hrothgar, passing through to the heart, no, passing through to the throat of the world. There, Jin used the ritual he learned from the Ogma Infinium to restore his eyesight briefly so that he may read the Elder Scrolls. And gaze upon the first face he's ever seen. Mules. Now, after then, after reading the Elder Scroll and gaining the knowledge of the Dragon Wren's shout from the ancient heroes, Jin did battle with Alduin atop the throat of the world, weakening the World Eater, but unfortunately, failing to stop him entirely. Now, at the behest of Parthenax, Jin must seek out aid from the Jarl of Whiterun to trap one of the Dova who serve Alduin in Dragon's Reach and learn of the World Eater's location. Before Jin heads down, he's going to talk to Arngir. We heard the Dragon Wren shout from here. You defeated him? Yes, I defeated him for now. But he escaped. I must find his portal. Savinka. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. I'm going to try the capture of the dragon if Bulgaroth will help me. Ah, Dragon's Reach. There are many difficulties, but I cannot think of a better plan. Although I fear the Jarl may not be easy to persuade. The safety Remember, of his people of the voice is his primary more than concern. Indeed, we believe that battle is the least of its uses. May the strength and truth of your voice serve you well. Breath and focus. So, has he truly gone to Sovngarde? The old tales say that he can travel into Sovngarde to devour the souls of the dead. You must find out how he does this before he regains his strength and returns. Is there more you to learn of the so voice? Much already, Dragonborn. Growing your gift too quickly would be dangerous. Of course. But there are many words of power in Skyrim <clears throat> carved in the dragon tongue. Even from here, we can feel the thune resonate from them. Finding these lost words would be a sufficient test to temper your abilities with experience. Ask when you are ready to search. I believe I'm ready. We have felt the whisper of a word. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Silver Drift Lair. Okay. All set so, and go. focus. Yeah, all set. Let's go. That's all we needed. I just needed to, I for, I keep forgetting, because you can talk to, because you get those letters from a friend who, you're supposed to think it's Delphine, but why would Delphine still be addressing them from a friend after I'm already Dragonborn? It's likely not Delphine giving me those letters, uh, it's somebody, there's a toss-up of people it could be, and I'm not really going to say. I will say that one of the possibilities is Hermaeus Mora, though I don't think that's like... I don't think that's who it is. I don't think who it's it, who it is. I'm just going to say that. <clears throat> but now, we need to go down to Dragon's Reap and talk to the Yar. Um, Jin's gonna stop at home and drop some stuff off. <clears throat> Lucia! Hello, you're back. Yes. Did you bring me anything? Oh. No, not this time. Aww. My apology. Next time, I will bring you a gift. 
All right. Oh, she gave me red robes off camera. I don't still have those yet. Oh, these are the red. Not really red, but uh. Ooh, actually, you could probably make this look really cool with. Hold on. Where's that? A pop? Yes. Or was it? No, it was. Well, there's the Apotheus hood, which would look nice. But there was. Huh, hold on. The Apothea Scarf. Yeah. Yeah. Let's look at this. So, the Apothea Scarf. Yeah, that looks good with this. I like that a lot. Not for Jin, but just like in general, I think that's a good look. Oh, yeah, I didn't mention, but I got a new mod that lets horns show through hoods. Um, because. That's really my only reason I don't have Jin wear a hood. Um, yeah, if I want to have somebody alongside me who's a, a, a red mage, I can give them that. Oh, back on. That was away. Perfect. Alright, uh, Jin did arrive pretty early, so he's gonna go to bed. <clears throat> Alright. You awaken feeling a father's love? Wait! Is that... Do you get that instead of well rested when you're a pair? Ah. That's adorable. It's fucking adorable. All right, but now it's court is in session, so Jin can go and talk to Mister uh, Mister Bulgraf the Greater. Stay out of trouble, Argonian. Is Bulgruff his first name or his last name? Because he's the greater, which means he would be the older of the two. I guess it just means he's the older of the two brothers. So Bulgruff the greater, because that means he's the older brother. <clears throat> Bulgruff, old friend. I know this is sudden, but I have a request for you. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. Oh, fancy robes. You a wizard or something? How can you protect White Run from the dragons? With planning and constant vigilance. Even now, my court wizard, Ferengar. We must also have ample reserves of water to combat the fires that will surely spread after an attack. But yes. our greatest weapon? Courage. For if we cannot kill the beast, we must at least have the tenacity to drive it back. Until brave heroes step forward to destroy these monsters, that is the best we can do. Need your help to trap a dragon. Uh, 
I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. I'm sorry. I wouldn't ask if this wasn't important, but I have to track down Alduin. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. Dragon's Reach was built to hold the dragon, wasn't According it? According to legend, although I never thought to put the tale to the test, Jarl Olaf one eye it was, who later became High King. They say he shouted it into submission in single combat <clears throat> atop Mount Anthor and brought it back to Whiterun. Numenex was the dragon's name. That's his skull decorating the main hall. Please, I need your what help. Asking for is insane, impossible. You want me to let the dragon into the heart of my city, with the threat of war on my doorstep? It's the only way to stop them, to stop Alduin. I don't know where he is. There must be another way. The risk is too great. Threat is worse than you know. Do not listen. Alduin's return. Alduin. I love the world leader himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I'm Dragonborn. It's my destiny to stop him. I don't know about such things. But I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough for me. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way to find Alduin before it's too late. I want to help you, Dragonborn. He's in Sovengo. But I need your help first. Of course, Ulrich anything. and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. What if you didn't have to worry about it? Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, Maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. Perhaps. Leave it to me. I shall talk to Arngir and hope that he will allow this peace council to be hosted. I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Whose side are you on in the war, anyway? What's the war you're referring to? I'm on the side of Whiterun. No doubt General Tullius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. And perhaps I do. Ulfric Stormcloak would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side or the other. But that day has not come yet. Do you think Ulrich killed the High King? No doubt. He thought it was the only way to make his point. And also, oh, why do you because he knew he could. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Of course. I shall return, friend. Well, we're going to have to go High Hrothgar again. Um, but Jin is going to actually go and pick someone up first. See, we need at least one more member to join um uh, The blades. And Jin did not think he would be forced to call upon this. 
this friend of his. Pull him away from the life that he was living. Actually, hold on now, because now that I think about it, the blades have to swear away from their entire lives. And you know what? Nope. Never mind. <clears throat> Do I have any other fun? No. Jin did not want to have to what pull this doing? man away from the life that he's living. Peaceful life. But you should have seen me at the height. The last of the time has here. come. I was fearless and took too many risks. Bain though, but my friend. What it was all about. Divine smile on you, friend. Oh, hold on. Good day. I'm itching for a fight. Right here. Certainly. Be careful. There's Bain, beauty. Looks like you've already got right. someone with you. So what's the plan? Such a shame. I thought we were getting along so well. I'll head back to Riften if you should have second thoughts. Alright. First, Jin must First, Jin needs to meet up with an old friend. He didn't think it'd have to come to this, but the blades are still low in numbers. One more is all we need. Jin didn't want to have to draw this friend away from his livelihood, the woman he loved, his home. Maybe you've uh. already met Camilla Valerius. It's his only hope. If only Camilla shared my affections, or even knew about them. She does. Fame, though, Ripple my friend. Agreeable enough, I suppose. For a Nord village, lead the way. I need you. I'm sorry. The dragon crisis is worsened. The world is ending. We need. Strong warriors. Ones that I can trust. Since Jin has been to Solitude already, he's going to go there. Now, to get to Solitude, he could pa he will pass through this part. Sky. Oh wait, no, he has to go high Hrothgar first. Duh, I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh well, we're here. We're here now. Jin's gonna go do this. And induct Feyendal. <clears throat> then I'm gonna ask Asburn if he knows where. There's a word of power. Oh, it's What do you need? Nothing at the moment. And now we'll have a full party because we will have a warrior, a rogue, and a mage. There's one more thing. We know about Parthenax. What? You know what? Parthenax, the dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. What? No! He's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. What do you have against if the Greybeards? Their way, you do... The Greybeards... Think about it. No. Trust me. 
No. There's no need to be afraid. About Parthenon. That's your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Oh, why does he need to die? Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. He shan't. You don't know him. And to think I was going to add to your ranks. No. Feindor, let's go. You're going home. My oath binds me behind you. Until go home. I'll head back home if you need me. We're not needed here. Her pride apparently is too shallow. Dragonborn, what do you need? Uthgard. Yours too. Correct? Good. Chat time's over. Let's not waste any time. Okay, so Uthgard will still follow me. I'm heading Time home. for us to part ways. Alright. Divine smile on you, friend. The Jin just got taken aback that I didn't think that happened yet. I thought that happened after you defeat Alduin. Oi. That's my major problem. Parthenax doesn't need to die. It's entirely Delphine who thinks that he does. Alright, so we're going to go to Riften. And we're going to get um, Uthgird back. And once more to High Hrothgar to talk to Arngir. It is the most annoying part of the game. The fact that you cannot convince her to give it up. Or that we can't kill her and be like, Esbern, listen. She was no good for the blades. She was going to run you guys into the ground. I'm sorry. I know she was your friend, but... Her job... Is not to slay dragons. That is not the job of the blades. That has never been the job of the blades. That wasn't even the job of the dragon guard that came before the blades. No. That was the Akaviri soldiers thousands and thousands of years ago. She is not an Akaviri person. She is a Nord. She is a Nord. The Akaviri were searching for the dragonborn because they wanted power not because they hated the dragons because they wanted power they wanted they themselves were trying to consume the dragons so that they could become more powerful they found the dragonborn who could do that in reem and cyrodiil and thus pledge their loyalty to him they didn't do it out of a righteousness out of a desire to free people no no that wasn't the akavir that wasn't the Saiyese's plans at all. They wanted power because they were a conquering force. They killed all of the men of Akavir in their conquest. They had constantly been trying to conquer the other nations of Akavir from what we know. They were not good people. They were not righteous warriors. They were a militaristic conquering faction and she thinks that they were all righteous dragon hunters she doesn't understand the lore of her own fucking she doesn't understand the lore of her own guild her own faction the blades are there to serve the dragonborn Full stop. Entirely. That is their entire purpose. Not to hunt dragon. Sure. Help the dragonborn stop Alduin. But, like... You're supposed to help the dragonborn stop Alduin. Help the dragonborn stop Alduin. Not be like, hmm, you know, you're not killing this guy that we don't, this dragon that we don't like, this dragon that, you know, helped humans and taught them the Thum and all this stuff and has given you all the things to, to, to slay Alduin and, you know, who has 
who I know nothing about personally about his um actual uh who who you know who I I know actually nothing about his actual personality or any of uh, the actual details. I just read it um because Esbern translated everything and then wrote it down for me and then told me everything. So I'm I'm just making interpretations based off of something that this guy did thousands of years ago, being like, oh, he betrayed this guy he trusted. Why can't he betray us? Maybe. Because Parthenax doesn't care about pride like Delphine does. All she cares about is her own pride. That is why she wants Alduin dead. Because he is living proof that she doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. That the blades don't need to kill everyone. That... Spreading as much bloodshed as possible is not the only way to stop Alduin that she has to be not subservient to Jin, but she has to respect Jin and not rescind her help even though that is entirely what she's supposed to do is help the dragon porn she just she's actively breaking her own oath because she wants to feel like she's always right that she is the best and that all of the dragons will die because that's what she thinks the blades are supposed to do that's not what the blades are supposed to do that's not what the blades have ever been designed to do and i didn't talk to esburn but esburn thinks that she's going overboard that you don't really need to kill parthenax but delphine put herself in charge so esburn has to just kind of deal with it i fucking hate del as a character and as a as a person, I hate Delphine. And Jin's frustrated with Delphine because her arrogance is overshadowing her judgment and ability to be like, huh, you know, it's been like 4,000 years. Maybe Parthenax has changed, you know, sitting on top of that mountain, meditating with a bunch of peaceful monks. No, 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 no not possible at all. Not possible. I'm just gonna say he's a dragon, and therefore... Fuck you, Delphine. I'm sorry. Was, that's the end of my rant. Let's get Mule back. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. Where's Mule? It's, neither is... Aaron, so she, they're probably at the house. They're home. Hmm. Yep. Is this? Oh, no. Is it upstairs? Where's Mule? Mule. A fine day to you, friend. Follow me. I'm right behind you. Let's go. Yeah. Sorry, I just like got really frustrated about Delphine <laughs> for a second. It is the one thing in Skyrim that pisses me off to no end is how annoying Delphine. Delphine specifically. Asburn. Well, Asburn still says that the blades were dragging up. But shows it's honestly, it's more them really poorly trying to retcon things because it, it was Todd Howard trying to retcon things but doing it very poorly because it completely contradicts everything that we knew about the Blades up until then and all the information that we still have. These people, what these two characters are saying is all we have to go off of their interpretation of the Blade's history. That's it. Nothing else about the Blades, all of the other information we have about the Blades, does not say that they were dragged. The Akavir, the Akaviri, the Saiesi, specifically, 
hunted dragons for the sake of their own power gain, not to free themselves. I mean, they kind of did it to free themselves. I, I think they were ruled by the dragons at one point, but they drove them out. All I know is they drove the dragons out, and then the dragons went to Atmora in Skyrim, possibly. Um, though there's still arguments of the dragons, like Alduin and all this stuff. Alduin's branch of dragons actually came from Atmora to Skyrim. I like to think they left Akavir, went to Atmora. Well, no, because that would have happened way after. I remember a cut trying to rob me on the road once. I'll, all, I, all I'll say is the blades calling themselves, the living blades now calling themselves dragon hunters are just wrong. And I, and my interpretation is that these characters just don't understand their history as well as they think they do. That's the way I'm interpreting it. Not as a retcon, it's as these characters not understanding the lore as well as they think they do. And Esbern knows the lore very well. Angir. Must talk to you. All right, we're at High Hrothgar, and in the next episode, we will talk. All right, all right, we're in High Hrothgar, and in the next episode, we'll talk to Arngir about getting that peace council. Like, comment, subscribe if you want. Share this video with someone you know, and I see you guys in the next episode of Skyrim. Peace. Oh.